Hello from Doha. Adrian Finnegan here with uh, some of the top stories on Al Jazeera. Two suicide bombers have blown themselves up outside a government compound in the Pakistani city of Peshawar. Gunmen attacked a meeting between a senior political official and tribal elders. More now from Al Jazeera's Imran Khan in Islamabad. We have heard of two explosions. Now, these gunmen have managed to get into this very, very secure compound. So questions are being asked. How did they manage to evade all of that security? And how did they manage to bring such heavy arms into such a secure compound? In Bangladesh, a general strike is being observed following a government decision to change a controversial war crimes law. Under the new law, a prominent opposition leader convicted of war crimes and sentenced to life could be executed. Staff at the Spanish airline Iberia have begun a five-day strike over job and salary cuts. The action is set to ground more than a thousand flights in Spain this week and it'll cost the airline millions of dollars. Thousands of protesters have taken part in what organizers say is the largest climate change rally in US history. They gathered in Washington to highlight environmental issues. And the remains of more than 150 people have been found in a mass grave in central Sri Lanka. There's some evidence that the bodies are victims of a violent government crackdown either in 1971 or during the late 1980s. The price of beef in Indonesia is now one of the highest in the world at nearly $10 a kilo. The government had reduced the amount of foreign beef allowed into the country in a bid to support local farming. But a shortage of cows has pushed prices up and has led to corrupt practices or at least allegations of corrupt practices more on all those stories at outerzero.com thanks for watching i'll see you again bye for now